Well, hi everyone, it's Father Tony here, and today I'm really excited that our new principal, Mrs. Fears, has joined us. She's in the school today, the day that this is being filmed. Uh, she's spending a couple days here uh, to learn more about what our school is like, what our students are like, how their day goes, to get to know our teachers. And we're taking a break uh, to ask Mrs. Fears some questions. So when I first came, we did uh, 10 questions with Father Tony, and people seemed to like that. It was a, a way of getting to know me before I came. And so we just have a few questions for you today, if that's all right. Um, so to begin, uh, can you just tell us, uh, who are you? Yeah, so, who is Mrs. Amy Fears? So I am a mom of three boys. I am married to my high school sweetheart. We moved here um, when I was little. I was a, towards the end of my freshman year, went to Assumption. So I have been in Louisville for a long time now. I consider this my home. When people ask where I'm from, I say Louisville, even though I was not really born here. This is where most of my formative years have been. And we had family in Louisville. So every Christmas, every vacation, we were always, we were always here. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit about me. I have been in education. So I knew, always knew I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Other than being a mom, I knew I wanted to be a teacher and yeah. went to school. Got my master's, my undergraduate, and been doing that ever since. So you have been in a lot of different settings in school. So you've done classroom teaching, you've done technology, you've done professional development, school administration. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, you know, we wear so many different yeah. hats that I'm sure there's a few things in there okay. that are probably, but sounds like you got the big yeah. things Yeah, so those covered. are your big roles those that you've had. Ones. And you've been in different types of schools too, right? So yeah. you were at, what, what's been your kind of path? So you started at... When I first started teaching, I was at Mount Carmel mm -hmm. and then stayed home for a while with my boys. When I went back to teaching, I went back to Sacred Heart Model School, spent some time at Nativity, and then most recently I have been at St. Michael. Okay. And in all of that and all the different experiences you've had, um, what do you, I think education is so important. I know you would agree and our parents and our parishioners would agree. And um, What has been your favorite part about working in education? My favorite part with working at within the Catholic school system is how we show up for one another. Mm -hmm. This is a family. It is something that we celebrate together, we mourn together. Knowing how important Catholic education has been to me personally is something that I'm very passionate about sharing with others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I agree with that. There's a, a great sense of community in Catholic education, I think in this city, but I think especially here at St. Raphael. So I think you'll really love uh, growing into that community. And I know that our community has already started to welcome you and reach out to you and things like that. So that's that's great. Um, in kind of your path, you know, you've gone from classroom teaching and you've worked with teachers on professional development. Now you're in school administration. You've kind of been taking these different steps. Can you tell us a little bit about um, in that path kind of what led you to taking this next step from going from an assistant principal to a principal? Um, what was that path like? I very much felt like I was being called by God to do more. Loved where I was at, loved my time there, loved the people at St. Michael, but just continuously kept feeling like my heart was being asked to do more. Um, I tried to kind of ignore that for a little bit and push that away because of being happy with where I was attended a mass that you actually provided the homily for, and you spoke of putting Jesus in the chair mm -hmm. that is center to our heart. Mm -hmm. And hearing that message, I kind of got the goosebumps, mm -hmm. the whole holy moment where I felt that I was very much hearing God speak directly to me and letting me know that I needed to open myself up to all of the various things that I had been hearing. And I did that and here we are. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. So I think that's beautiful, because not just because you heard a homily I gave and still remember it, I like that. <laughs> uh, but it, God so often speaks to us through other people, right? And so like in, in my path and how I, how I ended up here as a priest was so many people saying, I see something in you and eventually I believed that for myself. So it sounds similar to you. There were these different people that God was using to say, um, I see something in you, I think you would be good at this. And then you come to mass at St. Raphael and now um, an ad goes in the paper and here you are. 
uh, as our as our next principal. So that's that's very beautiful. Um, what do you think? I, this might be a hard question to answer because you're still very much getting to know us, and we're still getting to know you. What are you most looking forward to in taking on this new role, but specifically here uh, at St. Raphael? What are you looking forward to the most? The children. Just mm -hmm. being here yesterday and being here today, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, my interactions with them, hearing from them. had a preschooler that was showing me her dance moves earlier. Oh, wow. yeah. I had a second grader helping me. One of the questions, you know, the kids were asking me basketball questions. Mm -hmm. So then we started talking about basketball and then yeah. they were wanting to know who I was picking. So we looked at the brackets mm -hmm. together. I love that. I love yeah. the community that's here. I love that I'm going to get to know these children. I love that I'm going to get to have a front seat to watch them grow and develop. And it's something that I feel very honored that I get yeah. to do. That's great. Yeah, that has been a blessing for me. You know, my when I was ordained, I really wanted a parish with a school, and then uh, I didn't get that. <laughs> but now <laughs> being here, um, it's so wonderful to see and to hear the kids playing out in the back lot and on the playground to, you know, if you're having a day that's not great to just walk through the school and say hi and see what they're up to has been a, a real gift. So this is a perfect segue. You're already, we're already a great team. That was not planned at all. Uh, we have, uh, well, we know that you have been getting to know the kids already. Um, one thing that has impressed me is, uh, for those that are watching, is Mrs. Fears asked if she could come into the school and shadow a kid and, and get to know our students that way. And I think that was a really great idea. So uh, now we're going to cut and uh, the person in this chair will become much younger and smaller. And we have some of our students who wanna ask you questions. So we'll do that. And then we'll be back to the two of us. Awesome. Hi, I'm Miles and I'm in eighth grade. It's nice to meet you, Miles. Are you a Cards or a Cats fan, and who do you predict will win the NCAA tournament this year? So my dad was a football coach growing up, and he coached at UK and U of L, and so that's a hard one for me. But we know a lot of people that are still coaching for U of L, and I would have a really hard time rooting against those people if they were to play each yeah. other. And for the NCAA tournament, a dear friend of mine, her husband is a coach, and so they play tonight, so I will be pulling for Mississippi State. I will too. All right, good deal. Hi, my name is Rubietta. I'm in third grade. It's nice to meet you. What is your favorite food? What's your favorite restaurant? Oh. That's a hard one. I don't know what suggestions do you have for me around here? What's good to eat around St. Raphael? Well, I like Olive Garden. That's always good. And then They've got good breadsticks, don't they? Mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy um, when you go to um, Boombas, that's good too. Boombas is really good. So you and I speak the same language. I love Italian food. Me too. So any restaurant that has Italian food, I like that. Same with me. Good deal. Hi, I'm Faith and I'm in the sixth grade. Nice to meet you, Faith. What was your favorite subject in school and why? I love to read. Now, I don't think I loved reading when I was younger, but I absolutely love reading now. I always enjoyed writing. That was something that I found joy from. So I would have to probably say English language arts classes were my favorite. Me too. Oh, good. Good deal. Hi, my name is Finn, I'm, and I'm in fourth grade. It's nice to meet you, Finn. Tell me, do you have any kids? I do. I have three boys. I have Luke, who is a sophomore at UK, Nolan, who is a junior at St. X, and Gregory is a freshman at St. X. Hi, I'm Holly and I'm in the second grade. It's nice to meet you, Holly. What do you like to do for fun? Do you have any hobbies? I love to bake. Do you like to bake? I love baking cookies and decorating cookies. I think it's so much fun and then we, I really like eating every, cookies. Every like every holiday, me and my family, we usually like bake cookies and stuff. We we'll, like decorate them and we'll hand them out to our neighbors. I love that. We've got that in common. You have to show me your cookies that you've made. Um, my mom just, she um, went somewhere, I don't know where she bought them, but she like went somewhere and she like bought these Valentine's cookies and we made them for Valentine's and we handed out, out to our neighbors and stuff. I bet that was pretty special. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I hope you have a really good day. 
Okay. Okay. Good deal. All right, we're back from those great questions from our students. Uh, they, they asked some really good questions, so I'm glad you got to meet some of them. And thanks for being here these days. I know you're still working uh, full-time at St. Michael and you're giving us some of your time as well, and that's really generous of you. Uh, before we wrap up, is there anything that you would like to say to everyone that's watching? I am so excited to get to be part of this community. It already feels like home. Everyone has been so welcoming and I'm just so excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited too and I think everyone is. Something that I wanna ask everyone watching to do, you know, when I came here uh, as the administrator, hopefully soon I'll be named pastor. Uh, when I first came here my first weekend, I said very seriously, that I wanted everyone in the community to pray for me every day. And that's not because I'm selfish or think highly of myself, it's because I know that I really need it. Um, in order to lead effectively, I need the support of the prayers of our whole community. And the same is true for Mrs. Fears as she gets ready uh, to take on this role. So when we emailed out the announcement of Mrs. Fears being named principal, we included a link to a prayer card. And I asked you in my letter, to very intentionally pray for Mrs. Fears every day. And I hope you've been doing that. If you've not, there's no way I'm gonna know, so don't worry about me finding <laughs> out. But I'd invite you to go back to that email and find that prayer card, print it out and pray it as a family. Uh, and for your convenience, at the end of this video, there'll be a few seconds of silence and we'll have that prayer card there. So if you're watching this on your phone, you can just take a screenshot and have it right there. And just take a couple of seconds is all that it takes each day to remember our school, our whole parish, and especially Mrs. Fears in your prayers. So thanks for joining us. Um, and we are looking forward to all the great things that God is going to do. And may God bless all of you and our community. And we will see you soon. Thank you so much.